Welcome back to Rolling History. This week we're going to take the wheels off the car and get them ready to send to a shop in Pennsylvania. Alright, so this week's been kind of crazy. We had this uh, huge windstorm here in California and then we had a bunch of fires and uh, the fires weren't near me but they affected us just because of the traffic and everything. But finally I'm getting my video out for, video out for the week. Um, and we have something cool to, cool to tell you. Uh, a few weeks ago, I sent out these little flyers to some companies that I thought could help us out, uh, asking them for you know some sponsorships and things like that. And uh, the response is pretty good. So um, we are going to take those wheels apart off the Dodge, and we're going to send them back to Pennsylvania to Calamer's Wheel Shop and they're going to put some new new wood spokes in it for us and uh, so they're going to be one of our sponsors um, they were super happy to be involved and uh, we're really happy to have them involved and uh, as we go along we we have a few more sponsors right now and we'll uh, we'll get to those when we get there but uh, for now we're shipping those to Calamers and uh, and so let's get going Since I just had these off for the brakes, everything is kind of loose, so I'm not even going to bother with the wrenches. I think I can get it without them. That one probably could use a wrench. So, Calamers Wheel Shop has asked me to send them uh, just the parts of the wheels, not the whole wheels themselves. So what they are asking for are a few spokes out of the front, a few spokes out of the rear, and then the rim and the hub. So that's what I'm going to take apart right now. This is one of the rears, and uh, that's interesting, I just noticed something. The seal, the seal for the rear axle is actually, the seal for the rear axle actually is in the brake drum, not the hub. That's very interesting. Hmm. And, and it's no good. So I, one of my plans was, once I had the hubs out, to take them and machine them to fit a, a modern seal. But uh, it looks like now I'll be taking the brake drums with me to machine the modern seal. And and that's the way this one's built. Very interesting. So let me see if I can get this apart without destroying too much of it. Okay, I had to run and get a punch to get these out of here. Okay, let's see if this rub will come out. Not easily.
Okay, got the hub out without destroying all the spokes. Let's see if we can get the spokes out. Alright, there's the first one. Okay, so all the spokes are out of here. Now I gotta get the ring, put the tire on it off. And I wanted to say, it was really sad to take these spokes out because these on the right side of the car were in great shape. They probably would have been okay. But we're going a long way and I have my family in the car, so I decided it's probably better to replace them all. But they probably didn't need it and and it was really hard for me to break down a couple wheels that were in really good shape on the left side of the car those were those were history they're all dry rotted but these on the right side were really good if I weren't going across the country with it I would have used these two wheels but since I am they got replaced so let's see if I can get this ring off of here without too much trouble Okay, those come off came off real easy. Get the valve stem off and we'll try and take that outer ring apart. Something cool about this car is it had this little spacer here, wooden spacer for the valve stem. I don't know why they had it on there. Probably the valve stem was just too long, but pretty cool. Well, that was easy. taken one of these apart before so I'm not 100% sure. There we go. <laughs> the tire is it's been there so long it's stuck to the wheel. Okay, so I am having a hard time with these. And I ran out of that penetrant that I was using, so I just put some grease around all the threads and hopefully that'll make a little bit of a difference. If not, I don't know, I really don't want to break any of these off. I'm heating them next to the wooden spokes. I guess it doesn't really matter now, but have to deal with that. Uh, maybe they peen these over. Uh, 
Okay, I got them. I had to take them over by the air compressor and grind down the heads a little bit. But they all came off, none of them broke, which is good because I didn't want to make any new ones. So let's see if we can't get this one all taken apart. Seems like it's going to come apart. Well, I'm not going to say that. It's coming apart. See, I said something. Nah, it's not coming coming off very easy. There we go. Once it started going, it went pretty easily. That's all we have time for today. I'm not going to do any more. Uh, i got to get going, but uh, just wanted to let you know that I am so happy to have these tires out of my life. Every time I roll them around, they get stuff everywhere. I mean, they are filthy. I've probably ruined, ruined two or three pairs of pants on these things. So I'm not sad to see them go, and I can't wait to see the new ones. Thanks for watching this episode of Rolling History. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so, and we'll see you next time.